this exercise, we're going to create basic drawing objects in very precise locations using Entity Snaps and Entity Snap Tracking. So before we get started drawing things, let's take a look at our status bar. And what I want to do is turn off all of the settings here so that I can make sure when I am selecting those Entity Snaps that I'm specifically selecting the snaps that I want to use. A little bit later in the exercise, we'll use running entity snaps that automate the process. Let's begin by starting the line command, and with a shift right click, I can choose midpoint. We'll snap to the midpoint of the line on the left hand side of this rental or retail space, and then again shift right click, this time choosing perpendicular. And you'll notice the glyph appears as soon as I touch the line, indicating where the perpendicular snap will uh, land. So I simply select the point and the line is drawn. I'll press enter to exit the line command. Next thing that we want to do is turn on running entity snaps. And we're going to do this by simply clicking the E snap button on the status bar. The next thing that I want to do is right click that button and choose settings. And I want to make sure that endpoint, midpoint, and center are all selected. We'll go ahead and close the settings. And now with entity snaps on, I can automate the process of selecting those snaps. So this time I'll create a circle. And you'll notice that as soon as I touch the horizontal line, the midpoint glyph is displayed. So I simply select that point and then enter a radius value. In this case, we'll enter eight foot. Next, I'll use the line command and snap to the endpoint of the door opening here and the next endpoint of the door opening. And then press enter to end the line command. Let's go ahead and turn on the quadrant running entity snap. So again, I'm going to right click the E snap button and choose quadrant. Now I can start the line command and you'll notice that as I touch the quadrants or the circle, the closest quadrant is then identified. Simply select that point and shift right click, snapped perpendicular to this line, and then repeat the process for the top Again, shift right click, snap to perpendicular. And then finally, the example that we want to look at is snap tracking. So snap tracking allows us to track from specific entity snaps on selected objects. So if I wanted to place a circle in the center of this room, I could do so by using snap tracking. So what I'm going to do is turn on the snap tracking option by clicking S track on the status bar and then I'll start the circle command. And this time, instead of actually selecting or picking a point, I'm just going to touch that point and move away from it. And you will notice that the cursor is now tracking from that midpoint. And then I'll touch the lower horizontal line and again, move away from it. And you'll notice that it is tracking. The red line indicates it's tracking in the x-axis. Green is tracking in the y-axis. Then I simply click that point and the circle center is defined. Here we'll enter a radius of six units and press enter. That completes the exercise on working with entity snaps in entity snap tracking.